They say oil and water don't mix, but they do at Port Fouchon. This sprawling terminal at Louisiana's southernmost tip is a hub for servicing the giant deep water oil rigs. Port Fouchon is a nervous place and the, the companies, a lot of them headquartered in Houston or, or New Orleans, are nervous because they don't know what's happening to this core constituency, this deep water drilling capability. These vessels are between five and a hundred million dollars to build. Their operating costs can hit a hundred thousand dollars a day. But they're tied up because many of the deep water drill rigs aren't working. Seven of the more than 30 large rigs in the Gulf of Mexico this time last year have been moved to Africa, South America and even Greenland. Some deep water drilling is resuming at previous sites. A couple of new ones are expected to start soon too. But it's nowhere near the level of activity seen before the disaster. This is like a graveyard for oil rigs. There are six of them here, much smaller than the deep water horizon that exploded a year ago. But because there's now no new drilling taking place, you see equipment just like this idled throughout the Gulf of Mexico and off the coast of Louisiana. That means firms that service the oil industry have less work. So what does she do? She works in a bookkeeping department. Johnny Bro joined his present firm on April the 19th last year, one day before the deep water horizon exploded. Unlike some of his colleagues, he says he can't follow the work overseas. I'm from here. I don't want to go nowhere else and work. <laughs> Is that what all the guys think? Yeah, a lot of them. But I mean, a lot of them don't have no choice because the companies are leaving, so they have to if they want to continue working. New deep water permits are being issued again, but the drilling operations take time to set up and workers here are counting the days. How can we get more traction than we have? Local environmentalists question whether the rules that govern deep water drilling have been sufficiently tightened. I understand that there are people who are hurting right now and we are sympathetic to the, the job losses that have happened in places like Port Fouchon. But we also know if we do not learn the lessons right now, if we do not put the best possible safety regulations out there, we'll never get them put in place. Johnny Bro and others like him in Port Fouchon welcome tougher safety regulations, but their main concern is simply getting back to work. John Terrett, Al Jazeera, Port Fouchon, Louisiana.